This is a walkthrough of how to use the Flow Tariff Angular SDK in your project. Currently, I am on the documentation page and I'll be using the information here to achieve this. Before we proceed, please ensure that you have all of these requirements ready. The next step is to install the package in our root folder. So let me go ahead and copy this and run it in the app root folder. So I already have an empty Angular project set up right here. So I will just run the command here. All right, package is installed. The next step is for us, for us to include this script tag in our index.html page. So let me go ahead and copy this. Then I'll include this in the page right here. That is done. The next step is to import the Flutter module into our app module. So let me go ahead and copy this and paste it in the app module. All right. Also, we model. All right, having imported the module into our app module, we can go ahead to use the Flutter with components. So to do this, we have two methods. We can either use the components or we can use the service that is provided by the SDK. This is the Flutter with service. So let us start with the components. So let me go ahead and copy the component and paste it right here in my empty HTML page. All right, so this is the component plus how we've made payments. And these are the properties. So I already have this public key defined right here. All right, so I already have my public key and other parameters defined right here. So let me save this right now and we can see it in action on our browser. All right, so now I have a P now button. So if you either click on this button, it will show them the Flutter with P model. So let us try to use the pay via service to do this let's go back to our ide so i'll clear this then i'll define my own button button i'll say pay via service Now, I already have a method defined already for this. And what this method is doing is basically just calling the flutter with inline p method. So we can just call this method right here. I say click pay via service. So let me save this and go back to our project and see what happens. So as you can see, this is my defined button that is already attached to the Flutter with service. So if I click on this button right now, it will perform the same action. For more information on the payment parameters that are required, please visit the Flutter with documentation page. Thank you.